Welcome friends to my wiring system for the car. Last time I took the time to install these beautiful new terminals and screw on using these M8 5 16 inch uh, connectors, creating these Anderson plugs. Each has a 40 amp fuse in here. See that? Automotive fuse. So this taps directly into the battery. The battery gets fed by the alternator. The battery in itself has 1.5 kilowatts of energy. The way this wire is stretching is these, this part uh, on the Highlander uh, detaches. There's little screws, plastic, plastic little coverings that attach it to that. Uh, in order to get the wire into the housing, what I did was I bought this two foot 24 inch screwdriver Phillips head and I stuck it through there's a little firewall, little hole there on the back. It's probably not visible. Where's the lampage go? Oh. So there is a little firewall there. You put the screwdriver through. Um, let's see if I can show it. Do you see that firewall? So you stick the screwdriver through that firewall and then on the end of the screwdriver, you screw on this wire. I just doubled up this wire uh, in half and I taped it on with this Tessa tape. This is the automated, automated grade tape and it's the same one that I used to clean up these wires and make this look really nice. So when you screw this wire on, you could actually pull the two foot screwdriver from the inside, from the outside to the inside. Next, what we're gonna to need to do is connect the Anderson connectors and pull in any extra wire to the inside and create Anderson connectors, these things, um, on the inside. So I'll see you in the next step. Safety tip, you see these fuses? Remove these fuses before uh, doing the wiring connections so you don't have a live wire that you're working with because you, it's very easy to short circuit it and you could cause a fire hazard. So I'm taking out these fuses before making more Anderson connectors because I'm gonna be cutting the wire and working with it. So safety first guys, and I hope you're wearing glasses and all the other good stuff. All right friends, uh, the project is coming along well. So previously we stretched out the wires from back there. And what we did over here was we first uh, connected the Anderson connectors. These fuses are out by the way, so. Uh, and we connected these little bridge things. These little bridge things um, hold the wires together because we're going to be stretching this around and this Tessa tape is actually really perfect that uh, it, it looks nice. And then it's going to go back here. So just uh, filming this step of the process because it's an important step. So it's getting to look better and better and better. So I found that it's better not to put it behind this thing. It's more of like a firewall. I just put some of these um, these things over here uh, to hold it in place. And I'm gonna put one more tomorrow. And back there, um, I tied up the wire. I first pulled it in a little bit and then tied it up to make it all look nice. So overall, this step of the process, this part of the car is done. With the Anderson connectors, the fuses are still out. So we can make the Anderson connectors on the inside of the car and all cleanly sent where it's, you know, the engine block has a plastic cover on it. So it's way above it. So there's going to be no problems with it. Plus this is silicone wire and all the way on the inside, you see how it, uh, it went through those, um, through that grommet back there, uh, with the screwdriver. So it came out to be actually pretty perfect not in the way of anything and it just went all the way around here all the way around here to over here and held down with the zip tie over here too so it should be completely perfect so this is all accessible i could just lift up the wire and get into the fuse box so let's get the innocence done and connect a power bank to get charged up all right friends this is the proof of concept I ran these wires in, I connected a 12 to a 24 adapter. So 24 volts is going to this uh, solar generator. 
and I'll have a thousand watt power station that I could use to even run a cook plate. I'll send you a link on, on it below. So it's charging, the car is off right now completely. Um, we're jacked directly into the battery, let me show you where. This is the completed job. There's 40 amp fuses here to make sure nothing gets out of hand. Just the same way that there's fuses for other car components, we're following safety. These are silicone wires, so these are designed to withstand uh, crazy temperatures. And it's no, no, nowhere like near anything that it would touch to interfere with anything. And one of the things you gotta be careful of is to put that firewall back in place. There's a little grommet so that water doesn't get in here. So because I have a, this is a lithium battery, by the way. So this is 1.5 kilowatts of energy and the battery bank inside is only one kilowatt. So the benefit of this system is that, let's say you uh, went to the store and parked for an hour, you don't have to disconnect your stuff for, to charge because you'll always have enough energy to go back home. So let's just check the solar generator back out. And it's charging at 187. That's pretty decent. Simple adapter. And I could also use this guy over here. This is jacked directly into the into the bit. You, you could say, oh, why not why don't you use the cigarette from the from the car? However, when this car is off, this guy, you see, it doesn't light up. So all these USB ports, they're not running during, during the power off of the car. So I would say this was a perfect proof of concept. Um, Anderson cables were uh, phenomenal to work with. We were able to get them to the exact size. And the next step of the way, I could take some of these cables and stretch like four to the back to charge like multiple power banks and maybe leave a couple to charge a laptop through, let's say, USB-C connectors like this. Uh, there's a website, powerworks.com, that sells these already with this connected Anderson connector and has a 15 amp fuse on it. So, friends, thumb up this video, and I hope you guys find some cool stuff you could do with your car. I'm excited that I'm able to connect to my lithium battery. Um, it's linked below. It's not the standard AGM, so I have probably twice the capacity of a regular one. I have a video about it, so check out one of the other videos in the channel. And yeah, this is a proof of concept. You could charge a solar generator from the back of the car. All right, friends, I'll see you in the next one.